Let's head out to Clackamas County now, where today we heard from County Board Chair Tootie Smith on her abrupt about face on a plan to turn a hotel into a homeless shelter. Smith called an emergency meeting on Wednesday, reversing her yes vote from February on Project Turnkey, and that reversal killed the plan. It would have turned this quality inn on Sunnyside Road near 205 into transitional housing, and it would have been the first converted hotel for the homeless in Clackamas County. Most of the $15.2 million project would have been paid for with state funding and bond money from Metro. Here's what Smith said about why she changed that vote. Because there's continued growing opposition from residents and business owners in this area not to do it. And the opposition is growing throughout Clackamas County not to use a failed housing, me uh, housing mechanism that Portland has been using. They don't want to see that. This is not just about one whole Hotel. You know, homeless will not be solved by the purchase or non-purchase of one hotel. So there's that. Smith said instead she wants to work with experts to study the root causes of homelessness and examine therapies and recovery models. It seems she's skeptical about how things are being approached here in Portland. I think what the model is, is a house homeless housing first uh, model, you put them in there and then uh, there's no follow up services on it. I think that is a perception. Whether that's true or not, if the current method was successful, we would see less homelessness in Portland and Multnomah County. Instead, we're seeing those numbers increase. One of the root causes in Smith's mind is Measure 110. She plans to refer a vote to Clackamas County citizens, asking them to direct the legislature to overturn 110. That's the law that made most user amounts of drugs legal or actually decriminalized them. So she also wants more community input on solutions to the homeless. She plans to bring together opponents and supporters of Project Turnkey. Set them down, ask them what they want us to do. I think that is probably the first mistake, and I'll, and I'll own it, the first mistake, we didn't listen to enough people to get enough buy-in to do this, so we're gonna do that. Another element to this story is a lawsuit filed by a neighboring property's landlord. It's a large strip mall with several businesses. They wanted nothing to do with Project Turnkey. They worried about how it could affect business, and they said it would violate deed restrictions for the land. Smith said that lawsuit really didn't have much to do with her decision. Well, no, we have 10 attorneys on staff at Clackamas County, and they were uh, fairly confident that uh, we would win it. I don't want to engage in a fight about homeless from any direction. I want to try to find the solutions to get people off the streets. And we have the money. I mean, there's money being thrown at us in all different directions. It's getting it out the door. And I will say this, in order to get the money out the door, we have to have people to manage these programs. And we have a huge work shortage, uh, shortage in the workforce, in part caused by low wages. So that money needs to be boosting up some of these wages. So we have people, for instance, that can do case management in the evaluation of these people, uh, therapists, psychiatrists, uh, drug addiction, uh, professionals. We need all of these people in this bubble. And the only thing that I'm hearing from Salem is housing, 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 housing. And I'm saying, please look at it differently. Well, here's another thing that's coming out of Salem that she should be hearing. Governor Kotek said on Wednesday about Smith's reversal. I'm absolutely stunned by Chair Smith's reversal today. Project Turnkey is a proven model to help Oregonians move off the street and into stability. This sudden vote was a very disappointing step backward at a time when every leader in Oregon needs to be doing more, not less, to address our homeless crisis. Nonetheless, Project Turnkey is dead in Clackamas County, at least for now. Commissioners will meet next week to brainstorm on an action plan to address homelessness.